sound check. Sound. Hello? I mean, besides the stuff we've already said, that was. Well, you're live now. <laughs> yep. I wanted, I wanted that to be my first thing on the internet. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm back, but I'm not here. I'm not the one in charge. He's so, not. Uh, I'm I'm stuck down here in a small little box at the bottom of the screen. He's the cool. Is in charge? He's the cool polar bear at the bottom. Um. So today we're going to be playing Honey Heist, and I just realized that. Mark usually runs, and he's usually subjected to my shenanigans, which means today I'm probably screwed because he's probably going to subject me to the amount of shenanigans <laughs> I usually subject him to. This will be great. Revenge! <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so this is Honey Heist. For those who don't know what it is, basically the characters are bears, and they can hide the fact that they are bears with their very fancy hats. Uh, the rules work very, very simply. Um, there's exactly two stats. Um, you will ha when you start with three points each in each of the stats, there's bear and there's criminal. And you have three points in bear and three points in criminal. You use your bear stat to do things like mall stuff, climb, shrug off damage, uh, scare people, like all things bears would do, like a bear-like things. And you use your criminal stat for things that are directly... Uh, that are not directly related to be a bear. So when you take an action, um, the outcome and the outcome isn't like it's not just a you know I search the room or whatever. So something that actually needs that where the outcome is dubious or in doubt, you roll a d6. And if it if the if it's a bear like thing, you're gonna roll your bear stat. If it's criminal thing, you're gonna roll your criminal stat. And um, if the roll is under or equal to what your stat currently is, you succeed. If it is higher, you fail. If you 
um, fail your stat. Oh, and if your stat is something that is your special characteristic. So for example, some of you have climb, some of you have swim, um, or, uh, or is related to your role. So I don't remember who else rolls or what, but, um, if, so if it's related to you roll 2d6, um, and take the lower number. So you get a, an advantage if it is something that you specialize in. Um, if you fail, you become frustrated. Um, and so what happens is you gain a point in that, uh, you, uh, uh okay when the when the role when the plan fails you run into difficulty you move one point from criminal to into bear and if the plan goes off without a hitch you move one bear you move one bear point into criminal so um that's that's how it goes you if you ever end up with six in criminal you do you betray your party and life is over and you go uh you go live a life of crime if you end up with six in bear you basically say, I, I don't want to be here anymore, flip out in very bear style, lose it, and take off to go be a bear somewhere in the wilderness. So you never want to reach six of either end. That's what you think. I want to be all bear. <laughs> the way you figure out your stat, the way you can counteract those stats is at any point you can have a, quote, flashback to your planning session, um, at which point you may choose to regain a... Um, point in uh, uh which one's the flashback the flashback is when you volunteer move one point from bear to criminal um you flashback scene where you uh where you bear plans out the heist over coffee and cigarettes in the back room of a cd bar or in our case in the back room of a cd cave and if you uh, eat honey or a large hump of honey you can regain a point in bear so that is how you can kind of forcibly interact with your points in order to be more bare or more criminal. So that's pretty much the entirety of the rules. Um, and so what is happening is you are three bears in the pro and you have found out that you are, that there is the big honey festival. And at this big honey festival, there are there is a grand prize of the queen of all bees is going to be given away and of course there is an insane amount of honey floating around and you have decided that you are going to go steal the bees the the bee of all bees and the honey so that is what you are here for so if you all want to introduce yourselves and kind of say what your general uh kind of your special skills are and what kind of bear um you are uh that would be awesome um, Mark, why don't you take it away since I'm stealing the show from you today anyway? Hi, hello. Hey guys, I'm Yogi. I'm going to be your face for this mission. I'm going to be the one who's going to help you figure out what's going on. I'm going to be the one who's going to do the talking. And if you listen to me, we're going to get through this smooth as butter. Smooth as the uh, wool felt on my nice trilby hat I'm wearing. Oh yeah. Michael? Did I scare you? Did I scare you? Oh, man. I wanted to be terrifying. Oh, at least I'm ripped. It's fine. Oh, my name is Whoa. Riz, by the way. <laughs> and 20. How do I follow that? Oh, my God. <laughs> <clears throat> Listen. Listen here, you young whippersnappers. My name is Ursus. I'm a retired bear, but you'll never find another bear that can sense honey like I can. I'm the brains of this here outfit. And they're all contained under my cowboy. We pulled them back in for just one last mission. One more, one more heist before retirement, old man. We can do this. Nobody asked you, Sonny. <laughs> oh, touchy. Oh, at least your hearing works, though, so we got that established. <laughs> so the... Get off my cave floor! So in... I'm the only one on the floor. <laughs> so in the... So let's... I'm going to 
show you guys the map of where y'all are. You are all in the caves. Oh, I need to actually move y'all to it. Uh, y'all are in the caves. And the there are a couple key points um, that you have been made aware of in your recognizance. The fact that there is a, the main of the activity for the actual festival is happening at the lodge and at the little, uh, you can see a little fire pit right beside the lodge. That is the camp, the um, kind of the picnic area for the lodge. So the bulk of the activity will happen there. And the, you also know that the bulk of the uh, speakers for the festival or conference or whatever you want to call it are staying at the lodge and that the bulk of the attendees are staying in the cabins. Um, that's about as much as you've found out in your recognizance. You do have a map of the area to help you figure stuff out. And you also have in the, um, in the, uh, PDFs in roll 20, you have, um, the schedule for the actual, um, for, for the actual festival that shows all of the events that are going to happen throughout the day, um, as well as who, what, when, where, and all that fun stuff for the festival. So it is up to you all to decide how you want to approach this thing. So what you want to do first? So first of all, I've got a quick question. Does the Wrangling the Queen Bee event Basically, does Hazel Dell actually have the queen bee in the lodge with her at that point? Is it out? Is it available? You don't know. Don't know. Well, dropped. Because I could figure that out. If we, if we can, that seems like the best place to snatch it is there. I can follow my nose. Can you smell bees? That sounds cool. Long if you well. sniff around, you can sniff the wonderful smell of breakfast lofting from mm. the general lodge area. Excellent. And it does have a sweet tinge to its background. Have we been invited to the festival? You yeah, you are question. attendees. You you do have ah, attendee badges. Ah, excellent. Uh, okay. Well, listen, I'm hungry. Gotta have some food to start the day. Let's go to breakfast. That makes sense. You're not yourself when you're hungry. <laughs> Aren't you a criminal when you're, you're hungry? You're not enough bear? Or you're not enough bear. <laughs> you're, you're not enough criminal when you're too much bear. <laughs> Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> so are all y'all going to breakfast? Sounds like this crew is going to breakfast even one way or another. All I right. put on my I put on my very fancy hat. You took your hat off? Disappointed you. <laughs> yeah, you know. Always wear the hat. You Always. gotta stay in character. You uh, gotta uh, stay in character. If you take out the hat this whole thing's gonna fall apart. If you take out the hat, the humans will know that you're not, that you are a bear and it will cause pandemonium. Just so all right, so Sorry, that was just my stomach. Are going to breakfast. Do, 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 do. Breakfast. So as you arrive to breakfast, uh, I need to go find my timeline because this is a very timeline based game. Mm -hmm. You arrive at breakfast. The innkeeper is serving attendees and speaking uh, and speakers alike, alike food and drink. You can smell the sweet smell of honey buns, eggs and bacon, pancakes, fresh pressed orange juice and coffee. As you approach, you notice Doc standing on a barrel, giving a speech about how he will win and how and all about how he has the best honey and how you would be daft not to pick and vote for his honey. No one seems to be listening much to him at all. As you arrive, you are approached by a very particular juniper berry, 
Where's Juniper Berry on this thing? I thought I put her on there. There we go. You are approached by Juniper Berry. And her friend, M Maple. Oop. And she says, Hi, my name is Juniper Berry. Welcome to HoneyCon. Please help yourselves to some breakfasts and don't forget to taste and vote for the honey of the year. The, ta uh, the tasters and ballot box are inside the red tent. We have a very special prize this year for the winner. The queen of all bees, once exiled, now returned. Schedules for the conference are on the table over there. Please help yourself. The winner will be announced during the dinner this evening. If you need anything, please do not hesitate to ask Maple or myself. And then she excuses and he herself and heads for the lodge. Well, I'd like to tell you, um, two very good signs right off the bat here. We've got somebody on a barrel and somebody named Juniper Berry. So obviously we are meant to be here. So clearly good sign. Good sign. Good start. So we'll just uh, sidle over and uh, grab some plates to blend in. Blend in. I'm just hungry. <laughs> I uh, immediately I, I, I glance over, see him doing that, pull my hand back away from the food I was about to grab and walk over and grab a plate as well. <laughs> You do get some odd looks for your mm, table manners. As you guys are eating breakfast, uh, you notice a number in, of people coming in and out of the uh, red tent in the uh, north. I'm going to call it north. Uh, north will get will always be the top of the map in my book, uh, regardless of the, whether the directions make sense or not. Um, to the <laughs> northwest side of the uh of the map uh, and you see a number of commotion and people coming out saying oh she's so gorgeous she's so beautiful such a wonderful bee and the honey so delicious hmm. wait where is this happening i'm sorry the at the top le left hand of the map there's a big red tent that you see people coming in and out of which is probably where the voting and tasting is uh, going to happen, is happening um, based on what you were told. Ursus, meanwhile, has uh, filled a plate and is sitting and eating, <laughs> trying to look as human as possible. It, are, is there any honey on the table oh yeah there's honey honey products absolutely Excellent. everywhere i put honey on my tea i put honey in my biscuits take a point of bear <laughs> <laughs> oh there good, good. calm down calm down you gotta you gotta do this slowly there's a lot of honey here you gotta, you gotta move this out. i know that's amazing <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. Oh, no. All right. As Grizz is stuffing his face with all the honey he can find, and the innkeeper scrambles to provide him with as much honey as he can possibly carry, um, in the most helpful fashion possible, uh, you hear Maple start to announce that um, sessions should be starting in the next five or ten minutes for those who want to head towards the lodge. Right. I'm basically, I'm going to, while they're slurping down food, I'm going to go talk to Barrel Boy. Who's Barrel? Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. He looks down at you with an air of superiority and goes, Ah, oh, finally, somebody paying attention to me. Finally, somebody who understands my intellect and how important our beautiful, wonderful mechanical bees will be as soon as we stop with the trying to m cater to these antiquated analog bees and, ca and you know, commit to the AI bees because they are the best and we can and just goes on this tirade that makes absolutely no sense and just won't just won't stop. He does not give you a chance to talk. Anyone watching Ursus at this point will see their ears flick in irritation. 
your very human, perfectly normal ears. That's what exactly. Yes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Underneath their hat. Yeah. Perfectly normal everyday hat. I am going. This guy will attempt to break into his conversation and be like, "Hey, hey, hey, hey! I've got, I've got this guy. I've got a secret for you. I've got, I've got something. I've got something. I got something. Gotta know. I think." I think one of your competitors knows you're so good that they're going to try and steal the bee out from under you, your prize. They're going to try to take it from you. Why? What? 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 No, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. You're too good. You're too good. No, 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 no. Impossible. Impossible. I have all the contingency plans. And you can see him start, like, sweating you can tell he's like probably doesn't have a contingency plan it's like i've got all the plans it is perfectly taken care of absolutely taken care of there is no way 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 i have can I, spies can I everywhere one of, the other, one of the other competitors are they relatively easy to pick out uh yes the competitors are essentially the the um if if you go into the tent, you will see that the competitors are the listed uh, that are listed are essentially all of the speakers, and all of the speakers are all of the named <clears throat> characters. So you have Odin Frost, Clover Dixie. So you have Odin Frost, who is here. You have Clover Dixie, um, Juniper Berry, and Maple did not enter the contest the contest because they are the organizers, um, and you also have. Um, Hold on, where's the where's the list? I Hazel lost my Dell. list. Hazel Dell and uh, so yeah, you have Odin Frost, you have Clover Dixie, you have Doc, obviously. We know about him. Hazel Dell, which is somewhere around here. Hazel Dell dish, there, there, there they are. And yeah, Juniper and Basil didn't enter. So it's the three of them essentially. Okay. Four I of mean, them. Four of them. Sorry. Yeah. I'm going to. I'm going to very, very secretively attempt to point out Hazel Dell and be like, I heard that one talking about how basically talk, basically talking about how they're going to steal the prize from you. If you you gonna, suddenly they're... see a big sigh of relief on Doc's face. He's like, oh, that pipsqueak? No way. It's just a child. She'd never be able to they're pull it off. Dressed like a bee. Don't you see it? The perfect disguise. Oh! <gasps> no, you don't say. They wouldn't. I will keep an extra close eye on her. No way she's stealing my prize. Mm -hmm. Keep out. Watch Watch out for the signal. Watch out for the signal. What's the I'll signal? Let you know. What's the signal? I'll let you know. I'll let you know. I'll point okay. it out to you. Okay, okay. As y'all sh shenanigans ensue, you can see a number of attend like basically the crowd is starting to migrate towards the uh the lodge and uh the you can see the innkeeper starting to clear up and you know slowly but surely very politely but is very much starting to uh close down on breakfast if that's if that makes sense uh can i i have a question about roll 20 yes I popped out the document and I uh, managed to get all of the controls for the pop-out window up under the toolbar. Anyone know how to fix that? You can collapse the toolbar in the top right-hand corner if you kind of no, hover. I'm sorry, it's under the Chrome toolbar? Oh, I have no, uh, I have no idea. Okay, I'm just going to log out and come back. That makes sense. So okay, as, everything's fine. Sweet. So as people are starting to make their way towards the towards the lodge for the first session of the day, which is <clears throat> um the buzz of the next B generation, what do you all decide to do? Hmm. 
Uh, one moment. Well, I am going to head over towards. Let's see, while well, everyone Here's is the map. If they all need a refresher of what's. Let's get you back on the main map so you can see what's going on. So y'all are here. Is lunch going to be here? Yes, lunch is going to were... be here. Um, out of character. Yes. <laughs> Mm -hmm. What is our goal here? Are we trying to steal the bee or are we just trying to win the bee? Steal the bee, the honey, everything you can get your paws on. Got it. Thank you. It's a it's a heist. You're casing the joint and ha and taking as much as you can carry. And uh where was it that we heard them going, "Oh, she's so pretty. She's such a beautiful bee." In what part the... of that that other map was that? In, in this red tent up here. Okay, that's what I thought. Listen here, boys, I think we should check out the red tent. As you enter the red tent, you notice that people have filed out and gone to the the started you know because everybody's heading out to the main lodge and you see a beautiful red pillow and like a space where the bee was probably being held at one point as well as the tasting jars and a strong box with all of the vote uh with all of the little voting cards in it and pots of honey with the names of each of the participants in front of them but at this point there's no the bee is no longer in the tent and nobody is in there anymore If Ursus looks around the pillow, are there any uh, things that they could notice or uh, any clues as to it is a anything? gorgeous satin red pillow, one only fit for a queen. It smells absolutely delightful of a combination of flower and pollen, if and you know only the finest quality with gorgeous uh gold inlays that uh say the queen on, on the front other than that it's it's a it's a pillow okay <laughs> <clears throat> So there are samples of the different honeys in here, though? Yes, there are samples of the various honeys. Okay, okay. I'll try to keep, uh, try to keep Grizz from eating all of it. The, uh, the jar that has Odin's Frost name in front of him, you are told, based on, you know, that it is supposed to be honey, you're not actually quite sure what that liquid is. Or that uh, semi-viscous liquid is. But you're pretty sure it is, by far and away, not honey. Uh, would my sense honey skill come in handy here? And how do I use it? Um, you roll two... Uh, so, since it's honey-based, I'm going to... Uh, what are you trying to do to the honey? Just make sure it's actually honey? Yeah, let okay. me tell so bear. What, what is honey and what is not. So roll bear, and since it is your sense honey, roll tw uh, roll twice and take the lower number. Okay. Oh, I character sheet closed. Build. Roll bear twice and take the lower. Mm-hmm. All right. So you make it because three. Uh, you're trying to get under three because your bear, your bear roll, your current bear status three, and your second run yeah. was three. So you make it. Um, you can tell that the 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 three honeys from the other participants are high quality, absolutely delightful. Uh, various types of honey. You can tell that the one from that is labeled Clover Dixie is definitely clover honey. 
um, you can tell that the one that is labeled um, the one that is from hazel is probably wildflower although you're not exactly sure which wildflower the one from odin frost you're not sure you can smell a hint of maybe ice grapes or ice wines you're not exactly sure but it smells delicious and would definitely high quality honey and the one from doc is um i mean you can you can eventually smell that yeah it's it's something made from that it's probably got the chemical properties of honey but it definitely lacks in every other quality um including smell look everything else i mean it, it you, you're like yeah it's probably of the honey family and it probably qualifies on a molecular level but that's about it okay so it's doc whose honey doesn't yeah appear right yeah okay you said auden before odin now auden frost his honey you're not quite sure what like the you can definitely tell that clover dixies is clover honey you can definitely tell that um hazels is wildflower you're not quite sure what flowers the are and what or what pollen was being used for odin frosts but it, it definitely smells absolutely scrumptious and uh, is looks and from every respect seems to be very high quality honey okay ursus will try each of them in turn which one do you start with we'll do clover first absolutely delicious exactly what you expected just absolutely wonderful and then hazel just as delicious absolutely wonderful um just delectable with beautiful undertones from insert wildflower here uh whose name i don't know off the top of my head just wonderful uh okay and Auden. Still can't, can't taste what, what flower it is, but absolutely delicious. Again, beautiful, nice quality honey. You're going to have a hard time deciding which of the three is taste the best. And Ursus will very carefully taste just enough of docks to see. It's honey, maybe. It's sugary. It's sticky. That's about the extent of its qualities. You pretty, you, you, you have a heart and it sticks to your tongue like nothing other. You're, you're, you're trying to swallow it, but it's a sticky, goopy, sweet, no taste, not, not awesome. Oh God, this is the worst honey I've ever had. But it doesn't, like, it doesn't make you ill. It's not, it doesn't, you know, it's, it's, it's goop. It's, it just tastes like sugar. I mean, it is honey, so, I mean... Yeah, I but know. these these others have actual flavor profiles. Like, listen, uh, this is barely honey. Trust, trust my experience on this. <laughs> uh, honestly, I don't recommend tasting it. Although okay, it's so kind of like, you know, when something goes bad in the fridge and you're like... Oh my god, this smells awful. Here, smell it. I almost want you to taste it, but I don't really recommend it. I mean, sometimes some of that some of that's the best stuff to eat. I mean somebody leaves a fridge in the woods, get it open. It's got some great stuff in it. I mean I mean it's not honey, don't get me wrong. Listen, yeah. uh, all I'm saying is there's four things here. Three of them are worth trying. Okay, okay. Well, so do they have like basically they have like I assume like little sample jars and things like that, and uh, then they have larger quantities of stuff. There's just a little sample jars. You're assuming the stash, if anybody brought any quantity, is somewhere else. Mm. Uh, also, I I don't want to steal this guy's honey. <laughs> we can leave this behind. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I want to steal everybody else's honey. I mean, we could just right. We don't. Right. We don't want but it to be not... too suspicious, though. We want to. It, well, I guess we do want it to be suspicious. Maybe we'll steal everyone but his. There you go. That's a plan. Yeah, actually, because then it'll look like he did it. 
actually what I want to do is but first is I want to take some of the basically some of uh some of Dell's honey here. Uh the bee person's honey. Right? They're dressed like a bee. That's just weird. I mean they're already a human. Why would they want to be a bee? So I don't get it. I don't get it. Um, listen, listen, we're wearing human hats. That's completely normal. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Do you not have a? I mean, we have hats. That makes us what? It makes us bears and criminals. So it, the hats are a key part of this entire thing. But, but in any case, in any case, we got we got to take some of this honey, some of Dell's honey. We got to smear it on the smear it on the pillow, smear it on the vote box, and smear it on Doc's honey. Uh, just the jar. We don't have to mix them or anything weird like that. Just just just, just do that. We could. Forment more chaos amongst these humans. Well, we, we, we need hang we want on, a chance hang on, that we're hang, distracted. Yeah, yeah. What? Hang on, I want to vote got? first, and Ursus will take a little card and fill out their vote and put it okay. in the box. Okay, I'm done. Okay. As you're okay, all cool. uh, formulating your plan, you can hear that the the innkeeper is cleaning up and. St- you can sort of sense that he might be starting to wonder what in the world is taking y'all so long in the tent that you seem to be taking an awful long time to vote and you suspect he might be getting suspicious. Which one is the innkeeper? The innkeeper is this guy. Oh. Uh, well, Ursus will come out of the tent and uh, see if they can distract him. Stay there, young man. Uh, well, tell hello. me, do you, do you have an opinion on which of the honeys is best? Oh, I have no opinion. I haven't tried them yet. I've been too busy, you know, making the food and cleaning the food and making the inn and running the inn. Although I'm very, very glad that you're that you're here. I'm so happy that the you have chosen my inn as the as the honey festival. It's such a pleasure to have you here every year. Uh, such a wonderful group of people. I don't recall ha- having met you before. Um, may I ask your name? My name is Ursus. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, Ursus. You do please let me know, should you need any help with absolutely anything, I am here to make sure that y'all are comfortable and that you have absolutely anything you need and, you know, all, all, all of the things. So please, please do let me know. Oh, certainly will. I, I have to tell you the breakfast was delectable. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. The... Uh, the, the, the buns were my, my, my late wife's recipe. Such a, such a wonderful cook. She taught me everything there is to know about food. Uh, all I know, I, all I, the only food I knew how to cook before she came around was, was the, the, was fishing, so fish. Um, it, but, but, and the, the waters around here for fishing are absolutely wonderful, especially out in Salmon's Cove. I mean, it's called Salmon's Cove for a reason. And he goes on about fishing in the area and about the wonderful berries in the area and how they're absolutely delicious and how um one day he hopes to learn how to harvest the honey from the hives out in the in the um uh wild flower field or on the other side of the inn and how it's such a wonderful country with such wonderful resources to make such a wonderful food and how he's so glad that it's so that you're that you found it so delectable and he's so happy to you know to make everybody happy with his wonderful food ursus is just having the time of their life talking about uh honey fish berries um and you know just continues to distract the innkeeper and he will talk your head off he will give you um give you the the he will let recipes? you in. <laughs> he will give you recipes he will also let you in, let you know that the there are um that there's canoes uh both by in Salmon's Cove and in um and by the uh and in on Pebble Beach and that you're welcome to use them should you want to go check out Berry Island that there's more beautiful berries and that they're very much in season and how there's raspberries and blueberries and blackberries and how you should definitely check it out if you if you have a chance and how it's absolutely delectable and all oh, oh and he also tells you that the fishing around that area is absolutely wonderful and there are um 
to just let him know that he would be happy to provide you with uh, fishing equipment. Uh, he has a rental of both fishing equipment and bicycles at the end, should you choose to need a bicycle in order to um, uh, in order to get around the uh, property a little bit faster. And there is also a cart and donkey, but the donkey's a little skittish and the, the secret to the donkey is you have to give him treats and pats. If you, he's just the, the sweetest little thing. As soon as you bribe him, he'll be your absolute best friend. And just continues on talking to you about everything and anything about how wonderful the, this little area is and the, how his favorite apple tree has, you know, given him the best apples for the last 25 years, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Well, well, she's well, basically well. Grizz is no uh, Ursus. Ursus, sorry. Well, Ursus is distracting uh, them. First, I'm going to I'm going to look at Grizz and make sure that Grizz's mouth hasn't become stuck because of the terrible honey. Because uh, we haven't heard anything <laughs> out of Grizz recently, and I'm worried that Grizz might have gone silent uh, because of this terrible honey, or possibly because they're still on mutant Discord. Could be either one. Okay, Grizz is just unconscious in the woods. Okay, cool. We'll move <laughs> on. Uh, oh no, the bad honey got them. Um, well, so I will drag. I will cut open the hole in the back of the tent. I will drag Grizz out of it. Then I'm going to make this place look like a crime scene uh, with all of the with, with all of Dell's honey smeared all over the place and like knock over knock over some of uh, Doc's honey, uh, like and like. Stuff some ballots that have like Dell's name with honey on them into the box. Uh, and then I'm going to exit out stage left, dragging Grizz into the basically off, to, basically off for a while. All right, where do y'all exit into the woods? Because there are no woods to well, there's I was, I was, I was there just dragging out of sight. I would had I probably end up going around the lodge so we could possibly sneak back into one of the sessions because the, the sessions are on the lodge, right? Yes, the sessions are okay. on the lodge. You yeah. can find a couple patches of bushes around the side of the lodge to hide in if you if you it's, get slap Grizz back to consciousness. Okay. I'm still over here talking. Oh, sorry. And oh, yeah, that's right. My bad. However, Ursus will excuse themselves and head toward the lodge. Um hopefully in a very obvious manner so that their friends know where they're going. Do you notice them going? Do you, uh, Mark and uh, Grizz and Yogi, do you notice uh, Ursus going into the lodge? I am, I am going around the corner of the lodge. So if, if they have, the lodge has those like really big glass windows. So you yeah, can it's see got a bunch of stuff of inside. Windows. So I could probably I could probably see Ursus basically having escaped from the uh basically, basically from the innkeeper and is now entering in. Um and so I will wait a little bit so it doesn't look like we obviously entered at the same time. Uh and then I'm going to uh go in at that point. And... So as you enter the lodge, what you find is a fairly so I'm assuming that you went in the front door, which is somewhere this way, and y'all are coming in whatever door you, you two want to go into. Um, um, it's only got one door, apparently. Cool. Go in through a window. No, there's window. actually a door. Too early. There's, Too early. there's actually a door here. This is actually a door. Uh, uh. Into the office. I don't want to walk in the office. That's 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 phase five or something. Just I don't come know. Come, come, come in the front. I'm, I'm working on it. I've got a plan. I don't know what it is, but I've got one. Do you really? I'm. <laughs> I mean, do you see the hat? The hat says I'm a plan maker. I mean, I mean, come no, on. it says you're the face. I mean, I mean, that's what the face does. He makes the, he he faces <laughs> the plans. I mean, just because you have all the brains doesn't mean I can't be slick. Nobody Take said that. that. I'll just uh, we'll just leave Grizz out. We'll prop Grizz against the wall. It's fine. <laughs> just feel like one of those. It's gonna be heck. We take one of the hats off. We take the hat off. Of, people would think he's just one of those stuffed bears somewhere in the somewhere in the lodge. 
be fine. No one will know. So it's our secret backup plan for later. You do know that the the actually all of the peoples are in. I think. Where did I stick that one? I want to be where the people are. Yes, the people are in Grand Ballroom One, which is where I want to see. Want to <laughs> see them dancing? Sorry. <laughs> Uh, where Juniper Berry is finishing up with the opening keynote. And so, um, I, you walk I in. I can't move my character. Oh, that might be my bad. Ursus. Why couldn't you not move your character? That's weird. Is, is this on. Ursus not belonging oh, to Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. There you go. I had okay. the wrong selector. So. Um, you walk into the opening keynote by none other than the organizer of the conference, Juniper Berry. The room is packed with attendees intently listening to her describing the various, how the various pitches of the bees have different meaning. The bees communicate with us through their buzz. You cannot underestimate the importance of us understanding their language. A soft calm buzz means that they are content, but an agitated high pitch means danger. Let's listen to some samples. She goes on to play recordings, pointing out the differences in pitch and their meaning. As you look around, you have spent a little too much time at breakfast and other shenanigans. And that it at this point, unless you want to sit in the front row, it's standing room only. It's fine. I'm going to lean casually against the back wall. I'm going to make this look cool. Okay. You do anything else here. to make yourself as noticed, or do you just kind of quietly and politely listen to the? Uh... I, I'm going to tip my hat slightly towards Doc if I happen to make eye contact. He is kind not there. Seriously, he so. is not in the room. Oh, okay. Um. You you'll notice Ursus is um making notes quite interested in the bee bee communication pattern cool. awesome so the there her she finishes out her presentation and uh lets everybody know that there's about a f you know five to ten minute intermission if anybody wants to get some drinks gets uh you know get some more coffee that there is coffee in the hallway uh points um people to the uh, bathrooms which are the outhouses right behind the uh, the inn and that uh to that our next speaker or our next um talk will be on wrangling the queen bee by hazel dell oh, i'm very interested in that one I'm going to attempt to locate Doc. Doc, as far as you can tell, is nowhere anywhere in the lounge. Or in oh. the in the lodge. At least not downstairs anyway. Unless do you decide to go exploring upstairs as well? I'm mostly just looking basically what what let's what little time I have in the five minutes. So Yeah, no. He is not anywhere near there. Ursus will move and get a good seat for the next speaker as people come and go. So our next speaker is Hazel Dell. Boop, boop, boop. And I just realized that apparently I got muted in Discord. We mentioned yeah. as much. <laughs> Yep. Well, then I responded, and it sounded like you uh, heard me. So no, uh, I've been, I've been no that's why time. we've been dragging your pa your uh, honey. They've been dragging your honey passed out uh, butt all over them. <laughs> You're propped up against the wall. We just the we just figured you were like high on the honey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, clearly. No, I I've been talking and communicating and everything, and during gaps between y'all were talking, so I didn't realize that you actually couldn't hear me. Mm -mm. It's nope. always interesting when that happens in voice comms. <laughs> I have no idea how I ended up muted in Discord because I, I don't know, whatever. Um. Anyway, Grizz, 
Grizz was busy uh, voting on Honey Outside and then came along for the ride and is now in at the registration desk, specifically chatting up with the registration guy and trying to figure out maybe there's some badges that haven't been picked up yet and whose those might be, kind of casting a glance at that. There's one or two, but they're indescript attendees, nothing, nobody of particular import. They're okay. uh, NPC one and NPC two. <laughs> hmm. Um. All right. So as the next start, as Hazel Dell walks up and starts presenting, she is talking about the proper care of queen bees and the difference between royalty and what she refers to as the finest of, and what she refers to the finest of all of the highest of royalties. Now she motions to a mustached spectator in the front row that I forgot to put on the map. Oh, no, he is there. Motions to a mustache spectator in the front row who brings out, who comes up on stage with her carrying the queen. Let me present to you Marinda, the queen of all bees, once exiled, now returned. She is one of a kind, amazing, magical, and she will ensure your eternal honey-making success. Admire as she buzzes. The queen seems to wave at the crowd who starts to cheer. This is my dear friends and callings is the sound of royalty. She sets, she sets the bee down on the podium in front of her. As she, cont she continues to present on the difference between queens and non-queens, the benefits and drawbacks of dealing with queens versus non-queens, why this queen is the best of all of the queens, and uh, finishes her talk with, um, please join us for lunch just outside in the camping area, same place as breakfast, and don't forget to vote for your favorite honey. She picks up the queen and followed by the man with the mustache and the hat that handed her the queen initially leaves the stage heading for the picnic area. Well, before they leave, is Doc anywhere? Nope, Doc still no Doc. Nope. Okay, does this have windows? This has windows that face south, right? Yes, this is in fact a window. This, the, the stage that is unma not mapped on the, on the page, but the stage is right in front of this window, yes. Okay. This is uh... a window, and then this is also a window. Oh, oh, sorry, opposite. These and these are windows. Like this and that. Okay. And this right here is the door to the storage closet. Or that you, I mean, you, it's a door. Um, and then this is the door in and out of the room. Okay. Um... I'm going to stand up and point out the window and say, my gosh, is that Doc coming out of the back of the voting tent? You hear a very large gasp as people start rushing towards the window to see what is going on. The only <laughs> two individuals that really don't seem to panic or budge much are the two men with the mustaches in hat, who basically just... The second one comes here, but everybody else gathers towards the window. Must look natural. Must look natural. Mm -hmm. Must rush towards the door. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the window. The mustache man, uh -huh. Hazel, and the bee ignore the commotion entirely and continue to work their way out of the room. Okay. I will point out something the, smells fishy. I will point out the obvious rip in the back of the tent as proof of my claims. And then I will just while well, frantically gesturing at Grizz or Ursus to head after the the Queen Bee. Um Juniper is there. Um she is right there in front of the window with y'all and who is one of the organizers and is looking very, very concerned. And is trying to understand what in the world is going on as these three continue to walk. Well, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to start. I'm going to basically use my best 
criminal, basically criminal, basically face skill and attempt to enrapture these people with tales of horrible conspiracies over what I totally saw with Doc coming out of that tent and doing horrible things and basically covered in honey. And obviously, basically, then he disappeared and maybe he could be anywhere. The first man with the hat and the moustache kind of plays interference and listens to you attentively taking down your concern, even takes out a little notebook and starts writing notes while these three continue to walk. Well, I've been this instruction. I've done my job as the face, so. Hello? Up to you two. Yes, we can hear you now. Oh. Uh, you obviously miss this because I'm muted, but Ursus declared rather loudly, all this commotion, I have to pee. Where, <laughs> where is, so, so that they could follow the bee, obviously. Yes. Where are the outhouses from here? This general direction. Okay, turn right out of the door? Yeah. Okay, that's good to know. Okay. The campsite. Uh, unpause. The, the, the campsite is down here-ish. And the pissers are up here-ish. Okay. All right. On pause. <clears throat> this guy's also, like, come in to figure out the commotion, by the way. He's not out there anymore. He's figuring out what's up. Uh, all right. So they're continuing to walk. Anybody? What about this other uh, guy with the mustache and the hat? He's playing interference with her, uh, taking down all of her. Uh, where's, where's Yogi? There's Yogi. Yogi was uh there he's playing interference with Yogi. Okay. Yogi was um telling him all of his concerns about the uh about the back of the tent and about Doc and about and he is very attentively taking notes and very much listening and asking questions, clarifying questions and acting very, very much um like it is absolutely in him, like think very detective like like wanting every detail of everything what a travesty i hope they didn't steal the honey who are you saying that to or just just in general to the room while pointing out the window you you see a look of you see uh women clutching their pearls going oh who would dare <laughs> <laughs> le gasp Look, exactly, exactly. All right. And they disappear into the sunset. Unless everybody Ursa... does anything drastic to stop them. Does Ursa see where they're going? Oh, they're going towards the camping. They're going towards the lunch and picnic area. Okay. Ursus will watch for a moment and then pending more information. Oops. So as the chaos ensues and they disappear into the picnic area, these three eventually move away, their butts away from the window and also are this lot um, not necessarily in a line, but in a group. It just made them easy. It made it easier for me to catch them. Um, start heading towards the picnic area as well to figure out, you know, because everybody wants to see what's up with the tent. Yeah, Ursa just meanders that direction. Okay. So, our, other than Ursa, where are Yogi and Grizz? What are you two doing? You also going to the picnic well, area? So yeah. I'm going to follow the group. I'm going to stick with the crowd. Okay. You're sticking with the crowd. Sure. Okay. So everybody at this point. So Hazel, the queen, which is on the wrong layer. Where's the queen? Somewhere. There we go. All right. Hazel, the queen. Hazel, the queen, 
Juniper is going to go check out the tent. Everybody's gasping. One of, is... one of the men is there with her. Doc is, is Doc is back, but on another uh is Bo Doc is back but on the other barrel this time talking about conspiracies. The um the innkeeper is starting to clean up. Like um starting to clean stuff. Maple's checking stuff. Maple's gone with these guys to make sure and take care of the queen. And we have a bunch of people staring and gawking and investigating and more gawking. And the man with the hat that was, uh, that was taking down all of your, that was taking down your st statement earlier is now looking at the tent and taking very close notes about the tent. What's y'all's plan? I mean, so far my general plan has been to just cause cause chaos. Uh, so, um, mission accomplished. You've derailed me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just uh, going to keep. I'm just going to keep causing chaos. So well, I'm going. I'm going to go talk to Doc and basically be and. Suggest to him that this is obviously a a ploy by uh, uh, Hazel Dell to basically to frame you, and obviously she had one of her mysterious bee drone cohorts dress as Doc and trash the tent in an attempt to uh, frame him. He looks at you and he's like, you know, I've never seen you around the honey con before. You're a first timer. We never had this kind of shenanigans before you came along. What tells me it's not you? And looks at you what? extra suspicious. And 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 um, why don't I haven't even seen you any eat any honey here? Taste some of mine. Dear. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I have basically I will pick it up and I I will basically do the basically I will do the what basically the wine sommelier thing. I will <laughs> yes. swish it and this I will squish it around. It's too the thing sticky he to gives me. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't squish. <laughs> I mean I, I'm still doing it anyway. I'm I'm I'm, I'm going the whole <laughs> nine yards doing that and then basically i i am just barely reaching my tongue in and just getting the slightest the slightest thing and be like ah ah ah, ah i can tell you have a complex flavor <laughs> profile sir i can take basically i can sense notes of i don't basically have a leather saddle leather in particular was there a horse that went by the hive at any point during <laughs> this because i can i can sense notes of this game of this game of hard travel that's that's what you were going for obviously with these these notes of uh of the saddle leather and there's a little bit of a little bit of metallic taste obviously for the horseshoes of course of course and, and trains trains are also made of metal also signifying travel that there's that there's been a lot of distance and hard work that normal bees can't go this far but obviously your honey comes from much further sources and therefore has so much more to offer because Ursa, of all of that ursus meanwhile is very carefully keeping a straight face <laughs> you he looks like he's about to pass out you don't know if it's from joy from sheer surprise that he doesn't get the usual response, that he finally found someone that can appreciate his art. And he's like, oh, oh you, um, oh, sir, finally somebody who understands and appreciates the level of complexity that I, and the level <laughs> of love and care I put behind my craft and goes on yet another tirade. You have no clue what he's talking about yet again. It's words. You understand the individual words he's saying in those sentences. It makes sense to nobody. There's no point in trying. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
but he has completely derailed and off the conspiracy theories to he cannot believe that somebody finally appreciates his art and his talent and goes into this self-aggrandizing uh, narcissist speech about how wonderful his his honey and how wonderful he is so business as usual for doc exactly <laughs> But more more importantly, is he now distracted from the fact that our little group is new? For now. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, Yogi's his new best friend. I mean, right. Yogi likes his honey. Yogi's his new best friend. So did everybody come out here to eat lunch or is everybody out here to check out the tent? I'm very confused. Well, they went out. Originally, it's lunchtime. But the tent... You, you, the, 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 with all the damage on the tent, everybody's now focused on that instead of lunch. These, during all of this, these three have skittled off d discreetly during the commotion. Has skittled off, or these four, the, these guys have skittled off and you're not sure where in all of the commotion. Ursus will watch as far as they can. They seem to have gone back into the into maybe into the uh, inn, but you're not quite sure because they they Isn't went there a around map of the area. Yes, so they went back. They went back. The door to the inn is on this side. The, the there's a door into the office on this side, but um, not into but only it's a private door. And you're assuming maybe they, but basically they went out this way and you're not exact, you did not sure if they went in the inn or if they went past the inn, you're not sure where they went. Hmm. As things calm down though, the innkeeper does start putting lunch out and the uh, things get cleaned up more or less and new batches of honey are put out for, uh, for uh, the for people to taste and vote, although there are questions about whether the vote's been tampered or not at this point, and so on. Do we see where they pulled the new the badges of honey from? You, they seem to be coming from the cabins, because they definitely uh -huh. didn't come from in the inn. They came from past the inn, and the only so they came from somewhere in this general direction. You do, you have been told by the innkeep in his whole entire tirade about how wonderful the area is, that there are hives in the wildflowers, in the wildflower prairie, and that there is a hive harvesting, you know, area and honey harvesting area and stuff for honey specifically in the wildflower prairie. And you also know that the cabins are in that direction, which are where some of the attendees are staying, but most of the speakers are staying in the lodge, so... Could be any of those general directions. I say we go to, up to where they disappeared. Okay. What do you guys think? You want to follow the point. bee or you want to try to find the honey? The honey the stash. Bee. I want the bee. You want the bee. So do you keep... If my compatriots concur. Okay. I mean, you're the brains. Clearly, I'm, just, I'm, I'm the brawn. I'm just the guy making. Care. I'm just here to eat. I'm just here to eat sandwiches with honey. A pick a naked basket. Hey, that's funny. <laughs> Back on. Maybe we should go for a walk along the the lake while we eat our sandwiches. Yeah, that's a great idea. We would have a look at the cabins. All right. So as you so you go up to the cabins, go for a yeah. walk along the river, the lake, and yeah, head up to the cabins. Of course, <laughs> the lake, the walk around the the north up along the lake it is absolutely gorgeous. The fresh wind coming in from the water feels really nice on this hot summer day, and you arrive to the cabins which are a group of fairly typical, you would find maybe in a campground or something of, you know, like small cabins that would be used by individuals. You do see a handful of townsfolk or of attendees mingering about. Uh, where are my townspeople? 
Where's my townspeople? And a couple of them are discussing the mayhem that occurred. And you also see a, one or two, like, you, you can tell that there's some discussion because they were the ones that didn't get up in the morning early enough to get breakfast or the uh, first couple of uh uh, first couple of sessions that they were the uh, getting up late type and uh, so they are getting filled in on the mayhem and chaos and kind of have are kind of having their little conversation over here in the middle of the cabins uh do we see any indication of which uh cabin hazel and the queen bee might be staying at there does not seem to be any, they do, do you, well, do you talk to the people that are, obviously this one was at the event and saw it unfold and is regaling it to this guy. Do you ask them if they saw anything? Cause you're not seeing anybody or anything. And we don't see the mustache. Mustachio... There is no mustache men. No mustache okay. men. All right. Uh, in that case, yeah. Ursus will wander over to this little group and say, Howdy, yo! Howdy, how are you? Did you hear about the chaos? Were you there? I was there. I saw most of it, but then I had to pee. Oh, that's... We came up here to get out of the noise. It's much more calm up here. Much nicer. Oh, well, I... do you know what they're having for lunch? Uh, we just Gr grab Grizz, a couple uh, sandwiches. <laughs> yeah. Stops munching for a minute to show off what he's eating. Oh, man, we need to get down there. That's lunchtime, dudes. Yes. It, I mean, especially if you miss <coughs> that delicious breakfast. They make really good food here. Man, yeah, we totally did. We slept then. Yeah. Come on, guys. Let's go head down. Maybe we'll catch a glimpse of the queen bee somewhere. Heard she, uh, queen bee on our way down. Yes. Go enjoy. Make sure you make sure you sample some of Doc's honey. Tell him all about it. He likes that. Oh, good to know. Uh, that's that's odd. Past years his stuff has been absolutely terrible. Did he finally figure out something that actually resembles like honey for once? Not certain, but he's really looking for feedback, so well, that's doesn't matter just... what you think of it. He wants to know. He well wants that's to know just what's going Doc. On. Are you new here? To pay no mind to him, he's just we 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 invite him back because I mean he's harmless and he I mean he, you know he's been around for years and he's helped out a couple years with the con. He used to organize this, you know. He's he's kind of sweet. He's he's an oddball, so we kind of just but everybody just kind of ignores him. He's all right. Just just don't taste the honey. It'll be fine. He's always any he's just a sucker for praise. Right, I think he's honestly looking for feedback this time, so I, I think we should really, really, really no. talk to him. Yeah, that can't yeah. be. Are you sure? I mean, he enjoyed the feedback I gave him, so I mean, he's basically, I would, I would assume he would accept the same from anyone else. Well, did you give him positive feedback? I told him what I thought of it. I gave him my opinion. Was it an honest opinion? I gave him my opinion. What are you saying? I mean, I have a hard time anybody would consider that to find that liquid that he calls honey anywhere near palatable, much you less were... good. And you anything were... else but positive feedback to Doc does not go well. You weren't wrong about the metallic thing. <clears throat> it definitely had the metallic taste. <sighs> Well, 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 we'll say hi to him. We'll we'll give him a nudge. <laughs> oh, and they unless you keep them, they're gonna go find themselves some lunch. I mean, I don't blame them, but I'm also currently hungry. <laughs> I'm sorry, cause this adventure is all about food. <laughs> <laughs> You may want to pause and get yourself a snack. <laughs> well, I I had a snack at the beginning. Right. So what y'all do? You're left kind of alone in the middle of the uh, 
in the middle of oh. all of the of the um cabins. We're trying Did to we... figure out Doc's cabin or and where his stuff's coming from. We're we're also looking for um backstock of honey from the participants. Ah, uh, yes. We want well, follow honey. my nose. We want the Good. goods. Well, also, yes. sense honey. I'd like to use sense honey. Do I sense ah. honey around here? Roll. Roll two. Uh, give me um... the lower. Uh-oh. Four. Um, you, yeah, no. You smell the beautiful pine trees and the wonderful fresh wood as one of the Welcome huts to the has been world. as one of the hutches have been just re rethatched you um there's just wonderful 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 uh aroma of flowers and but yeah no honey thank you for the follow by the way thank th and hang out with them with us todd how's it going um so yeah, so no, no honey. Uh, mm. Well, Ursus will make sure the other two know that. I don't think they're storing it over here, but I can't think of where they'd have it. Well, the, the honey, basically, the, the bee doesn't produce, the queen bee doesn't produce honey by herself, but the flower, she needs the flowers, though. Maybe, they, maybe they're keeping her, keeping her comfortable with the, the flowers. Oh, uh, that could be. I mean, I just thought I saw them walk up here, and this is where everyone stands, so I thought they'd be keeping their back stock over here. Is the door unlocked? Indeed. The door is unlocked. Open the door and poke around. <laughs> oh my god, Grizz! What you what? find... Nobody here. You enter a cabin. It is... Ah. Very much occu. It is, and and I'll I'll tell you now. All the cabins look roughly the same. There's a bed. There's a table. <laughs> there's a fireplace. You, you'll see if you hop into multiple cabins. This image is going to come re re up every time. Um, but <laughs> you find people's personal effects. You find, um, you find you know snacks. You find drinks. You find what, you know, generally you would find out of an attendee's. Uh, inside of an attendee's room you find personal items you find some that probably cause a chuckle or two uh, but you know you're not finding any like you, you find a honey bun here or there you're, you find a um a you know like a, a some sugar snaps you find some candy but you don't you're not finding like quantities of goods you're finding people's personal snacks Grizz, don't take people's personal stuff. We want the big score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I think we need to go over and search the fields, I think. All right. The fields? So y'all are... Well, the, I mean, uh, what do you, you guys so. think? The bee, the bee is not in the cabins. Those people were talking about how they hadn't seen her. Okay. All right. Maybe, maybe, maybe the hives, the prairie. Yeah, the the hives. That's what I meant. Yeah. All right. All right. They. All I know is they walked north. Hmm. So. Close the door. Accidentally pull it close too hard and end up with a uh, doorknob in my hand. Oops. <laughs> Drop it. <laughs> All right, y'all head for the wildflower prairie. I mean, uh, Grizz is incompetent after all, you know, and the incompetent muscle stuff's going to happen. Yes, indeed. All right. Oh, wild prairies. Oh, it's so nice over here. So you do end up in the wild prison and you do catch a glimpse of 
Oh, where are my peoples? Where are my peoples? Of one of the men with the moustache, just sitting in the grass, casually puffing his pipe while counting petals on a, uh, on a, um, what's it called? Uh, on a flower going, she loves me, she loves me not. She loves me, she loves me not. She loves me, she loves me not. And just kind of generally enjoying and keeping an eye on the bees and just having a good time sitting in the flowers, communing with nature. And as he sees you, sees you about, he's like, howdy, how are all three of you? Are you enjoying the, uh, assuming you're coming from the honey con, are you enjoying the day? As if he is unaware of anything having happened. Uh, to be clear, is this the same guy? He looks very similar to one of the other guys, but you're not, you're, you're, you're not sure if he is or not. Based on his reaction, probably oh, humans not. Look alike. Um. <laughs> Why, yes, we are from the con, and we're just, uh, we heard the the hives were so beautiful. Oh, yes, this time of year, they're absolutely wonderful. Y'all just missed it. The queen, pa they, they passed by with the queen not so long ago, so she could say hi to her, uh, to the bees and and uh you know so that the the hives over here could get some encouragement uh i heard there was a little bit of a tussle down there but um she's fine and that's all that's important the bees are fine as long as the bees are fine the world will continue going round isn't that the truth where'd they take the queen love to get a glimpse of her oh they probably took her to the to, to to the strongest most secure place around here they probably took her to berry island no one oh, can really? no one could possibly get her there that way she's safe until they can figure out what what was going on down at the the launch i mean such a why would anybody vandalize honeycon i mean come on but just for safety, they probably just brought her over to, to, to the island to see what was going on and to let her smell some flowers, you know, and since it's a lineland, make sure she wouldn't be, you know, make sure she wouldn't be, be subjected to the, the, the human world and the human problems. I mean, poor bee. She doesn't need all that. Uh, how in the heck do they communicate with her anyway? Like... I know that Hazel was talking about how how to tell what the bees are thinking, but like, like is there a translator or something? It's all in the buzz. It's all in the buzz. But how does but how does she understand the humans? She's how does the bee understand the humans? Yeah. They're they're incredibly intelligent. It is foolish of us to consider that they would not understand. It's 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 animals are smarter than they seem. I bet well, you, you got, would know. You got that right. <laughs> <laughs> so so it's 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 just a matter of, of of once you get past the notion that they wouldn't understand, everything works so much more easily, and you'd be surprised as to how much and how effectively we can communicate. Huh. Well, every day's a school day, I suppose. You guys got anything to say? Ursus looks at her compatriots. I am utterly fascinated by this man and his amazing <laughs> mustache. I'm going to compliment him on his amazing attempt to grow absolutely normal human fur. Um, and as okay, I will come, as I will say to that that I've seen many of people who who seem to sport a similar look, and I'm, just, I'm wondering if it is a uh, what is he, what does he call it, a fashion statement? Uh, some would consider it, yes, I suppose. Uh, those that are much more talented than me can sometimes use wax to make loops in all sorts of designs with their facial hair. Very exciting. Do you happen to have any of this wax on you? 
Ah, he stands up, grabs a little bit of bees of beeswax from the back of one of the beehives and says, Here, try this. This is pure beeswax. Should work a wonder. Excellent, excellent. I will use that in my next uh, uh the next time I I, I I I groom myself to have human fur, <laughs> facial fur. He looks at you on. very oddly when you make that <laughs> statement. Very, very oddly. Wow. And it's that like, a... hmm. Like just turn turns away and cringes hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hmm. Yeah. Human facial it's okay. fur. It's okay. I've got a disguise now. We're good. <laughs> I can make myself look like one of the mustachio people. We're good. It's cool. Act cool, people. <laughs> Don't make this any weirder. Uh, Ursus okay. turns back around with a completely straight face. Excellent. Good job. Good job. I'll just walk away. We'll just we'll just walk away and we're gonna we're gonna disguise ourselves as the mustachioed people. <laughs> All right, we use well, this to get closer to the queen. It's going to be cool. It'll work out great. Who the heck Even is that? Sounds smart to me. <laughs> Spring cleaning a new hive, slitting the hive. All in is your. By this point, you've spent enough time that we, you've probably. Skip like the first um the first session after lunch. Like at this point, we're probably oh. in terms of the agenda for those following along with the agenda. Um, they're probably about to start uh splitting the hive because I can absolutely spell. <laughs> I absolutely have been refraining from correcting your typos. It's supposed to be splitting the hive, not slitting the hive. Uh -huh. I just assumed and... that actual bears were putting this <laughs> right. together. <laughs> yeah, because we have ranging the queen. Oh, is it? <laughs> and pollen is spelled with two L's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some bear wrote this stuff. What do you expect? You can't expect a bear to know how to spell. <laughs> Listen, I'm smart, but I can't. I, I have dyslexia. It's fine. Uh, the sli the understand. what is it? The sheet I slit. The yeah, this is too dangerous to say. No, like, we're not doing that on stream. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, so we're okay. Out. So <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get, get the sensor running if we're gonna start going that direction. <laughs> right. um, um, so. Can right, I go swim see. across to the island? Well, you do know, but from making friend with the inn, that the there are uh, several places where you can get boats if you don't want to swim. Yeah, the innkeeper, the innkeeper told me where to get the boat. Oh, perfect. Let's do that then. Yeah, that's smart. Steal a boat. You don't have to it's, steal it. The innkeeper said stealing. you could use We're it. Allowed. <laughs> No, we have to steal our you People are terrible. <laughs> Taking a boat is neither bear nor criminal. We have to pick one or the other here, people. Listen, Yogi, take a lane. If you, take if a you, lane. If you insist... Yogi. <laughs> Go ahead. What? The more things we steal, the easier it is to catch us. We only want to steal the important shit. <laughs> 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 We're criminals. If you We're... insist on stealing the boat that is very perfectly been, uh, you've been told you're allowed to use, you I will happily make you boat. roll criminal. <laughs> you take a different boat if you're stealing. <laughs> I got permission. So you were told that there was a boat in Salmon Cove and one on Fossil Beach. Uh, well, we're closer to Salmon Cove. All right. Do you all want to pause by the lodge and grab some bicycles to make it faster, or are you good walking? How long? Oh, does bicycles it take is a good idea. To w can we ride bicycles? <laughs> I just want to watch bears on a bicycle. I mean, come on now. Yes. Let me give you all bad ideas and watch you take the bait. <laughs> My mammy's pappy used to work in a circus. <laughs> And taught us all how to ride listen, bicycles. Listen, I'm I'm walking. I'll see you I'm there. Walking. All right. 
Alright, so y'all head to Salmon Cove. And this is what you find at Salmon Cove. There's fish <laughs> on the beach. Excuse me, these are huge! Yeah, okay. There's there's statues, okay? Don't get too excited. <laughs> are you saying that not AI beach couldn't figure out how to make proper size fish? That's how exactly strange. what I'm saying. How weird. Making me so hungry. Oh, sorry. Like, what if it's a little sashimi thing? Like, this is just sashimi. It's a sashimi crossed with, like, a... a, a... Uh, what's it called? Like a, a seashell or something. I'm not exactly sure. Like cross with a koi fish and cross with a lure. I don't know. But it this... does look like a giant lure. Yeah. But when you get to the cove, this is what you find in Salmon Cove. And that's Berry Island? I uh, know that's the cove. That that oh, okay. where you can find the co you find you get into the cove which has a beautiful beach a cottage and a dock and a rowboat the air smells fresh and cool the cool breeze coming from the water is refreshing on this hot summer day the cottage is well kept and decorated with all sorts of wooden statues a fish mm. so at this point you can investigate do what you're going to do or take the boat and go to the island it is up to you oh now i see their statues they looked really real for a minute. Ursus gets in the boat. Are you coming? Coming. I'll row. All right. Better you, young whippersnapper. And y'all hand to Pua. Barry. Pua. Pua. <laughs> I row so fast. Right. My gosh, it's full of berries. <laughs> berries. Oh, well, I gotta get people it's, on. It is Berry Island. It is Berry Island. Uh, I'm going to stick you back in the rowboat for a second. Y'all are in your rowboat. Row, row, row your boat. Um, where's my bee? Where's my bee? And where is my moustache? There's my moustache. I'm just glad you didn't ask AI to make you a person with a moose stash. <laughs> You'd be surprised what I got as freaking outputs. It was bad. I'm sure. All right. Uh, I'm missing a moustache guy. There we go. All righty. Yeah. You arrive on the island. Uh, see people walking around. Or... Yeah, can we yeah, see you, them you can, from where we are? From from arriving, you as you approach the island, you definitely see that there are people, including hat and moustache men, on the island. Perfect. I'm going to attempt to disguise myself as one of the moustache men. Using disguise the yourself as what? You're already in disguise. I'm going to give myself a mustache, so I look. Oh, like them. okay. Obviously, that's the only defining characteristic that these silly humans have. <laughs> Their vague attempt at facial at facial fur. Facial fur fashion. So as, long, so as long as I have one, obviously, I'm, they're not going to be able to tell the difference between me and them. Mm. Be like looking into a mirror. Mm -hmm. Um. Please, for the very human player behind this bear, uh... Did you say anything about a building or buildings when you described this? I missed it. <clears throat> no, I haven't given the description yet. Hold on. Oh, okay. Awesome. Thank that you. is my bad. Uh, find my location. We are on Berry Island. Berry Island. There's Berry Island. Thank you, Lorelink, for having I have it all linked together, which is the only reason I've been keeping track of where all y'all been going. This cute little which, line. Mm -hmm. By the way, we should probably say. We're uh, running a Kickstarter for Lord Link right now. We are. Mark, give your pitch. <laughs> ah, hello, I'm Mark. Hello, the guy down here. Working? Actually, wait. Uh, I, yeah, okay. yeah, he's he's down there. He's down there. 
I'm down here at the bottom of the screen, and I'm coming to you live to tell you the fact <laughs> that we have a Kickstarter. Um, it's, what, what it's, more importantly, Lore Link is a as you have as you have seen throughout this as Martina's been using it in that wonderful little window below her wonderful little face. I don't know. I can't see how big the screen is. I don't have the screen up currently. Yes, it um, is the win it is the wonderful little one window under my wonderful little face. There you go. Um, oh. that is, um, it is a GM toolkit. It is designed to help GMs organize and sort all of their thoughts, no matter where they are. But if you take all of your notes, normally you might have a notebooks, notepads, little sticky notes, Google Docs, Google spreadsheets, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and basically organize them all in one place, and then once they're all in there, use the power of linking. Hence the name, more link, um, and link them all together so that when you're navigating through a campaign in a situation like this, where people are jumping all over the place because we're crazy and chaotic, you're able to keep up with all that and you're able to do things like quickly add new NPCs, quickly add notes and other things if you need to keep track of it. Um, if you're running a longer term campaign, this can be invaluable for doing things like, oh, hey, we was creating random new NPCs and things like that. So... That is the quick 30 seconds, possibly longer, I didn't time myself, uh, pitch on what Lorelink is, the Kickstarter, which I'm assuming, again, I don't have to stream it, which is a weird, awkward position for me. Uh, so I'm just going to assume that our great and wonderful 20 has put uh, put it up, uh, a link in chat about it. She has. Uh, she has. Awesome. And basically, if you go there, you can take a look at it and you can get early access to it. Um, and... That will allow you to take a look at what we're doing and basically take part in it, basically try it out for yourself and to give commentary and things like that and let us know what direction we should be heading. So there's the pitch. Yay! So if you haven't yet, back us and do it today. Awesome sauce. Okay, so thank you. Uh, yeah, so you're on the, uh, you're on the, you're, you've beached the boat on the side of the island and um they do not seem to have noticed you the the mustache men do not seem to have noticed you or if they have they do not seem at all concerned or per or uh perplexed or anything about the fact that you have uh landed your boat on the island and by the way i segued out of you were about to describe berry island to us oh Sorry. yes it's a pretty, uh, I don't remember if I read this or not. We'll read it again. This is a cute little island, which is populated with the most scrumptious variety of berries, including raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, all the berries, will, mulberries, all of them, and are currently producing the most beautiful, sweet-smelling fruit. There are no buildings. No buildings. Just fruit. And Just overly large fruit. Greenery and fruit. Yes. Uh, okay. This is what happens when you're in the hurry and you type Berry Island into an AI image generator. <laughs> I actually love it. It's very whimsical. It is very whimsical. I like the cherries. I think over it's on perfectly the representative. It's fine. <laughs> okay. And you said that the group across the way has not, has either not noticed or is not vexed by no. our group. They do not seem at all weirded out, concerned, or can otherwise. They pay you no attention. Can I, can I go scare them all? Grizz, you're so scary. But Thank you. Thank you. Makes me feel good not, inside. I want to, I want you to, you know. Build. I want to build you up, but I don't know if scaring them is the right idea yet, so hold on. I would like to take a moment to reflect back on the plans we made Okay. in the cave. Hold on. I need like a flashback sound effect. That moves the point from bear to criminal, because I have the feeling that uh, All right. I'm about to get more berry. So since y'all making, since y'all are doing a flashback scene, that means I am also pausing, because as y'all have been playing, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been advancing the timeline as we go, right? There is a, mm -hmm. this is very much a, has a background timeline that is moving forward. And so I I will pause said timeline if you would like to come up with an with an actual plan. Or if you just want the point and to move on, then go forth and conquer. But I will pause the actual game timeline while you are in flashback mode. 
Well, this is a great moment for our the brains of the operation to reveal their master plan that we've been secretly working <laughs> forward no. towards all this time. <laughs> that all of the chaos and things I've done has obviously been in service of this plan that they've had all yeah. along. Yeah. Totally. And now <laughs> they're going to reveal it. Now they're going to reveal it to us. And then I'm just going to walk uh. away and let, let <laughs> Buddy take care of this. Bye. Have a nice time. <laughs> <laughs> Are you really going AFK? Oh. No, I'm not. I'm just... Okay, just checking. <laughs> <laughs> just checking. Uh, so our goal is to steal the bee and the honey. Yep. Well, first we need to find all the backstock honey. Because you can't steal it if you don't know where they're keeping it. Smart, smart. Oh, you Wait, know what? I bet up. I bet we could steal all their boats from them. Then they can't get off the island. Who would steal boats? It's a crazy idea. <laughs> <laughs> if I could just smash their boats. Why? Why? I think, I Why think would the, we do that? I think the GM is gonna go AFK to refill the coffee, the, the coffee cup while you come up with a plan. <laughs> Like well, we want to keep them on the. We want to. We want to scare them all onto the island, and then we'll uh, escape with all the goods and leave them stranded on the island, so they can't come after us. I. I Nobody mean, ever there... accused me of being the brains of the operation. Uh, uh, clearly not, you whippersnapper. <laughs> uh. uh... Look, I kind of want to get in and out with the stuff without getting caught. I don't want to get caught either. I don't okay. want to get caught. It's ridiculous. Why did you just turn into a robot? Don't worry, got to Mr. Roboto. <laughs> oh, you are better now. Uh, um... So assuming we find the place where the queen bee is located, what's the what's the idea for getting getting the getting whatever guards they have to leave them alone? How can how can a how can a talkative face bear and a muscle bear? What those are, a, those are the tools you'll have. I am very scary. Listen, I'm I am slick. I am not a bear of very little brain. Uh, nobody got the reference. I... It's the no. it's a Winnie the Pooh. He's a bear. Who always says that? Oh, right, right, right. Look, it's it from a different place. I I was pausing to think, see if anyone think, got think, it. Think, 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 think. Hey, yes, you hear a twenty. Yes, think. you do. Welcome to the stream. Um. Well, I think if we could get the queen and her guards alone, maybe maybe that's when we let Grizz get scary. Okay, okay. So, uh, we need to distract them, basically maybe lead them out, if we have uh... Terrify them? Yeah, maybe we can, we can, do, we can do the scary basically. Grizz has got the scary thing on lock. And I can, I, I, I can, I can... <laughs> I can help guide them to uh, a place of safety, which will lead directly into uh, your your hands. Uh, or so. Well, you need a disguise for that? Uh, probably. <laughs> I'll have to find something along the way that would let me disguise myself as one of them. Maybe, to... maybe if we could get you disguised as a guard, then maybe you could convince them to walk away. And then if any of them don't, I'll let Grizz go terrify him. That works. That works. Split them up. And I like this plan. Take, take care of them easily. Okay. okay so for disguise, y'all are going to be rolling uh, your criminal. And since we just did a flashback, those of you who want to take a point in criminal, that'll make your roll easier, may do so. Ur Ursus is not going to try to disguise themselves uh, and will just hide in a bush 
or whatever. Whatever's okay. convenient. Yeah, there's plenty um, of bushes to hide in. So, first, Yogi, you try and just lead him away. And then if anyone stays behind, Grizz will come out of hiding and scare the bejeebus out of him. I heard that's a thing humans say, bejeebus. <laughs> uh, anything else you want to do in the flashback? Otherwise, you're getting back to Bar teleported back to Berry Island. Well, I'll tell you one thing. You sure are a smooth criminal. <laughs> Oh, where's the thing? Where's the thing? Hold on. Oh. <laughs> we, I have a thing now. I've been given the power. Where is it? Annie, are you okay? Annie, are you okay? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> no, that's the one I was looking for. There it is. <laughs> are you okay, Annie? <laughs> All right. Teleportation. Wah, 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 to Barry Island. <laughs> I'm fine. Uh, Are you though? I no. I I, uh, uh -oh. I listen. It's almost five o'clock here, and I'm about to open a beverage. Beverage. <laughs> Instead of the water. I. Um, so I am going to use the. I'm going to roll my criminal skills and disguise myself as. Uh, a, human, a human a with facial guard. human fur a <laughs> completely normal facial human fur using this wax <laughs> normal <laughs> human facial fur alright and you roll criminal and you make it so the disguise works of course it was an excellent plan obviously suggested to me by Ursa in the past which is why I set all of this in motion no no oh, I no mean way. you figured the disguise out on your own we just figured you would need one <laughs> well, I wouldn't have been thinking about it if it wasn't for your excellent plan. So, yeah. so I right. will, I will stroll up. I will, I won't stroll up. I will run up and be very concerned and kind of hand waving. Ursus is coming over here to hide. Uh, you should come too, Chris. Right. I will, I will, I will. Because my disguise is clearly garbage. Doc has built a giant mechanical submarine bee. Um, and is attempting to take the island by force. Um, <laughs> it's very specialized. It's a sub b uh, Sub -ma -bee. Sub -ma -bee. Oh my <laughs> goodness. I need to get the duck back out of her. I keep saying that. Um, <laughs> Uh, there's, yeah, well, there's, they tell them that the, the submarine, submarine, is obviously approaching the shores from this direction. Uh, it's circling the island. I've seen it, um, and we we need to basically gather all of our forces and marshal because they have frog bee men, uh, which are his weird mutant uh, combination between frogs and bees, uh, which are going to come up out of the sub bee marine and attack the island, <laughs> horrifically assaulting everyone involved and basically just getting everybody wet. and It'll be terrible. And then the bees can't fly if they're wet. So that's his master plan. Oh, obviously. no. He seems very, very concerned. Roll, Grab as many men as you can. Roll for roll criminal for your credibility, though, for to see how much he believes. I have a very I have a very credible bear. I have an exactly <laughs> credible bear. I know exactly the right amount of sincerity. I am too exactly much sincerity. Credible. <laughs> too much sincerity would be a giveaway. Obviously, so I am exactly credible. He is con he is incredibly concerned. He says some kind of code word that sound. Uh, he turns around, looks at the other two, and says, "Be licious, be licious!" And all of a sudden, they kind of close ranks. And make this little triangle, and they're like, and they look at you, and they're like, "Oh, you, 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 uh, do you have an escape craft for us to be able to go find the to go find the tr the honey and m make sure we bring the bee and the honey to a safe and more secure location?" Yes, it is over in this direction, but some of us. I'm afraid, men, some of us aren't making us off this island. We're, we're going to have to sacrifice ourselves to keep the bee dry. 
Um, uh, he looks at you he's like, why? Geez, I need volunteers to basically just stand up to Doc's horrible mutant mechanical B forces. Who amongst you will be those? Be the man. Be the man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He he I looks mean, at you with a grave face. He looks at you with a grave face and he says, I shall, I shall stay behind. And he climbs up to the top of this rock thing to keep watch. And he's like, I will keep watch while you uh, escape. Great. This guy, I'm going to, we're all going to turn and basically salute this man. And we're going to do Buzz, the national bee anthem. Um, <laughs> <laughs> slowly walk backwards this direction always facing it make sure you keep him in view for as long as you can man we wouldn't want his sacrifice to be to be in vain um so they follow you with the queen so we're going backwards towards the mystery yes. don't worry i'll tell you when we get near the cliff edge <laughs> I don't let anything bad happen to you <laughs> Versus Grizz, are you gonna uh, let, are you are you gonna tell them where the cliff edge is? Because otherwise, they're walking right off. I, I'm assuming that Grizz is going to show up at some point in here. Grizz wants to fall. That's on him. All right, roll your bear. <laughs> this is my terrifying man. So I get to uh, do this twice. Oh no! <laughs> they look at you. They're like, what? In the actual art. And they you, like, come on, man. Can't you at least pretend to be afraid of me? If Ursus knocks his hat off, does he become more bear like? Yes. Ursus will knock his hat off. Ah! Bear! He looks at you. What? Oh my god, it's a bear! Ursus hides bear. his hat behind her ba his back. Their back. They all start running. Running. Oh my running. god, it's a bear! Running. Running. How do we grab the bee? Well, the bee is hovering. Them. Yeah, you chase him. Let's see, we're going to attempt to... Uh, we'll attempt to guide them towards the visitor. No, this way, towards the boat. Again, watch out for the bear. He's right behind you. And then okay, they're they're bull the rush boat. one of the guys in the back. I would attempt All to right. get them to fall off, well, the, fall off your horse. I mean, fall off the cliff. Is that a bear roll or a criminal skill roll at this point? <laughs> Um, well, you, your hat is off and you're just trying to maul them at this point. So, right? Like, yeah. Yeah. Does so that, it'd be do bear. I become more bear and less criminal at this stage? Uh, if you succeed, probably yes. <laughs> oh, you succeed. Crap. So yes, take a point of bear. And this guy oh, no. is gone. This you guy's been bull now. rushed off the cliff. <laughs> All right, got one more left, and they're still running. They're still Ursus running. Ursus is running around in their way. No, he looks. He looks at the both of. He looks at the bear. Roll through one. Hold of on. Them. He looks at the bear. He looks at Ursus. He looks at the bear. He looks at her, Ursus. He's like, I'm not getting paid near enough for this. Uh uh. Goodbye, and he runs off. Ursus puts uh, uh, Grizz's hat back on him. The bee looks Grizz at does a happy dance. The bee looks at the both of you very confounded and says in the most eloquent of voice, he's like, oh, thank you for rescuing me from the humans. <sighs> Such drab groups of people idolize you for no good reason, want to parade you on the little pillow. I just want to be left alone in my hive. Are you here to rescue me? Of well, course. That depends. Can we make a deal for some honey? Well, sure. You know where they keep it, right? I'll give you no. all the honey no. you want. Yes, tell yes. us where they keep it. There, there's, a, there, well, there's a storage room. Grant, there's a storage room where the humans meet. They paraded me along. Like, there's a big storage cabinet over there inside a storage place. Like, it's a door. You open it, and there's just a hole. I don't know what they keep in there, but that's where they keep the extra pots of honey. Perfect. Say, I have a question for you, your highness. Yes? Uh, why did they say you were exiled? 
something about talking animals. Oh. Like, they seem really creeped yeah. out by animals that talk. Like, I'm assuming y'all have found some magical... May I try one of your hats on? Ursus will hand their hat to the bee. She tries it on and she turns into a gorgeous woman. Huh. I need to get myself one of those. And hands the hat back over to the bear. Well, you were quite a looker. No. I mean, you're you're gorgeous as a bee too. Well, that's just, because I'm just, the queen. What do you expect? Just give Ursus a strange look. It was a human. Ooh. Well, I mean, for a human, like obviously, I'm not gonna marry her. <laughs> well, that's good because I had no plans of marrying you. Well, there you go. Like you're not. I mean, no we'll have offense, to your each highness, other here. but but I'm a bear. I would rather have married a... I did marry a bear. Bless her heart and rest her soul. <laughs> she looks at all you. She's like, so are you going to get me out of here? Because I'm yeah. not getting paraded around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's go. Let's, let's go. You coming, Yogi? I am making sure that this guy... Just gonna keep an eye on the rest of the rest of the other men, making sure that they're not following us. And then, oh no, they've much. decided they were not getting paid near enough for all of this shenanigan. Keep, keep your like, disguise on, son. Yeah, like, he, I, oh, I'll both, chase them down. Don't worry about it. They're both sitting under a tree, rocking back and forth, going, "What in the world is going on? What in the world is going on? This is all a bad dream. We ate the wrong that mushrooms. Guy, what, the, that what, guy what is turned into we a the bear." Wrong... We ate the wrong mushrooms. Those were not. Are those fancy berries? What kind of berries were these? We ate the wrong mushrooms. We ate the Never wrong ate berries. The berries. Then we must have eaten the wrong berries. This will all end. This will all end. This is not happening. And they're just rocking back and forth. Who knows? They're broken. <laughs> so where all do you navigate your boat to? Well, because uh, you can row to your heart's content. Can well, the... let me grab the player thingy onto the main map. There we go. Can the queen tell us where the storage? Yeah, it's was? she. It's she tells you that it's in the lodge. Oh, <laughs> that it's there is. An, an, it's not an outer building. No, no, that it's one of the that it's one of the closets in the lodge. Was it was it on the first floor or upstairs? I'm pretty sure there's some in both. Oh. All right, uh, Ursus will ask the queen where she wants to be returned to. Is it the hives that are nearby? That would be the loveliest, please. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll row to, like, over here and then Kate, bring the, the bee over to the hives and then... Ursus will ask if we can return to ask more questions at another time. Oh, absolutely. You you have been the most wonderful and have rescued me from a life of drab solitude and utmost boredom. Thank you so much. You are more than welcome anytime. And she hands you each one of the most beautiful pieces of honeycombs out of the hive that you could possibly uh, imagine. Lovely. Oh, thank you so much. Does the honeycomb have any special properties other than being delicious? It is absolutely the most delicious thing you've ever tasted and probably worth its weight in gold just because of the sheer quality. Amazing. Ursus will save their piece for later. Save that for the victory. Kind of a la, you know... If Ursus had ever seen this movie, a la Will Smith's character with the cigar in Independence Day. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, you two. Back to the lodge. So one that's last, normal. One last heist. <laughs> one last heist. <laughs> so one, more, one, one last heist before retirement, old man. Wait. So, well, as... that's been the plan all along, son. 
So as you head back to the uh to the um to the lodge. Um let me go find sorry. Oh wait a minute. Listen, I think what we do and Ursus looks at Yogi here, you go in and create a commotion telling them that someone attacked the queen on Berry Island and you need help. And then hopefully they'll all go running and that'll give Grizz and me a shot at the score. All right. You just, <laughs> you just take them on a wild goose chase. I mean, I know we aren't geese, but you know. Honk. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> oh no so as this you arrive a problem <laughs> it is going to be a problem as you arrive to toward the um the uh lodge it is just about the beginning of dinner and ceremony 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 time um and the in the you can sort of see through the window that everybody's kind of joined in the uh, dining hall. This is what the dining hall looks like for reference. Uh, where did I put it? Um, somewhere in here, images. This, this is what the dining hall looks like. Got long tables, you know, set with the all the funsies and accoutrements ready for dinner. Dinner is tacos of all of the seasonings. You can smell the sweet scent of each of the ingredients. You can smell that there's definitely salmon tacos, uh, but also guacamole and some kind of um, ursus. You can smell that there's definitely some kind of dessert, dessert taco going on, probably some kind of like honey suckle something or another. Um, but is you... that, is that? Am I smelling like honey jalapeno salsa? More than likely. That smells really good. And so as you arrive, you can feel and sense there's commotion absolutely everywhere because the bee, the queen bee has not returned. And as you're about to walk in, so who's all walking in when? Let me, uh, let me get you guys on the map. Hold on the map of we are going to the lodge downstairs oops and the lodge this is where the dining room this is where the dining room this is where the ceremony the the the, the ceremonies is happening okay so so Bruce. all the peoples are in here and there's a mm -hmm. whole big lot to do Let's walk in, let's walk in together and then Yogi can come in a few minutes later. There's no more mustache men. Uh they've all gone the way of the dodo. And hold on. Before you walk uh okay. Hold on. I'm missing people. No, we're good. I've got all the uh, I'm missing some speakers. I had prep this. We've got a clover somewhere got an odin we've got a clover we've got a doc standing on a table because of course all places yeah he's like standing. a cat he wants to be a pie yes and is he a particularly short man he is a particularly short man and as I explained so much and doc is standing on the table and hazel and maple are uh, no, Juniper, Barry, and Maple are desperately trying to calm him down and set him down. And he is holding some kind of canister. And he's like, I'm screaming at the top of his lungs. I am done with these accusations. I did not taint the honey. I did not s sabotage the tent. Why would you think I founded this con? Why would you think I would sabotage it? So you want to say I sabotaged it? I'm holding a bomb. If you all don't 
Stop and give me the queen. I will blow this place to smithereens. Is this Doc? This is Doc. Well, good news. I've already done my distraction, so we're good. We could just take the take the honey and go. It's the... <coughs> well then. <laughs> I feel like I might need to defuse this situation. <laughs> Why? By by the way, did giving uh, Grizz back his hat reduce his bear point again? It did not reduce his bear point, but it turned, but it did turn him back into a human. Okay. The the it, the um the way he can reduce his bear points is by doing another um um uh how do you reduce your bear points? Let me check. I don't remember. Let me find the rules. There is a way to reduce spare points, though. Uh, we say, well, let me peek at the rules. Bear points are reduced by uh, doing criminal stuff. Like doing that. criminal stuff. Yeah. So when, so if he does something criminal, basically you're swapping. What's not very clear on that character sheet is that essentially when you give a bear point, you take away a. Yeah, it's a, it's a. Your total should always be six. Yeah, your total right, should always it's be shifting six. Back and yeah, forth. It's, I get it's it. shifting. So that's so yeah. So he just needs to do criminal things. Um. Okay. Ursus turns. Back. Ursus turns to Grizz and says, "Change of plans. You and Yogi go get the goods. I'll see what I can do here." All right. So you want me to go get this stuff, and you're going to defuse the situation. I Making think sure that, I understand. I think that's a good idea, yes. All right. I'll, uh, it's uh, in the storage room? Is that what you said, or is it downstairs? There, they, they said that there was some on both floors, the queen said. Well, then I'll go here. So you're going upstairs. Yep, I'm going to go upstairs. Okay, let's deal with Grizz first, and then we'll take it in order. So Grizz goes upstairs. <clears throat> so Grizz is the, really the only one upstairs, but... Yeah. I'll, I'll put Yogi and... Uh, Yogi and Ursus are, in, are, are reading a book in the corner or something. <laughs> Deep in the hundred acre wood. Can I... Actually, so, is this uh, door open? The, yeah, the doors are unlocked. All of the doors are unlocked. You find uh, what looks to be Hazel stuff, uh, based on what you can tell in her style. You find a like a jar of honey here and there, but nothing of nothing of note. Grab a jar of honey and move along to the next room. This seems to be Juniper's room. Oh, by the way, all of the rooms more or less look like this. Show all players. There you go. Um, standard bed, writing desk, very, chest to hold stuff. Cozy. But, yeah. you know, nicely put together, very clean and, you know, just cozy. And they all look more or less the same. Second room looks to be Love Juniper's. It. Same thing. You find some odds and ends. You find a uh, you find a purse with about 10 gold worth of stuff in it, um, as well as some jewelry. Um, and you Don't find care. some... Do you find them? Jar of honey? Jar of honey? No honey. Ah, bummer. Next room. You, I am sniffing around now. <laughs> you go to Maple... Do you find what looks to be Maple's room? You do find a about two jars of honey and uh, some odds and ends, but yes. nothing of note. Excellent. More honey. Run to the next room. Um, you found what looks to be Odin's room. Um, it's awfully, awfully cold in here, and you you, you mm. find a pot of what looks to be frozen honey. That's weird. I'll take it anyway. Basically, it looks like a big popsicle stick, but it looks like it's made of honey. Weird. That could be tasty, too. Next room. Um, you find this is Clover's room. You find a cute little 
potted plant full of clover with some bees buzzing, yes. have buzzing in it, but no honey. No honey. Oh. All right. Well, I guess the, the last room then. You are incredible. You are hit by a smell that you cannot imagine. It sounds so chemically that it's oh. toxic. You start to here? gag the minute you even touch the room. Oh, this room. Okay. Yeah, that was that room. Yeah. Yeah. yeah th this is Doc's room. Yes, it is. It is Doc's room. You can't so stand to be there here, long but... enough to actually even begin to roam the room. It, your oh, eyes are good. watering. It's making you cough. It's terrible. So it looks like there's another door here. Where does this one go? You find three barrels of honey. Just <gasps> sitting there. Three barrels of honey. It's a good thing I'm strong. <clears throat> <clears throat> so what do you do with the barrels? I pick them up. All three of them? All three of them. One in each arm and one in between, and I start oh, waddling right. You're... out towards the... Roll muscle, or roll bear. Roll muscle. Rawr. This would be a bear skill? Yeah. Well, actually, you're thieving. So no, that would be a... That would be a... a... Other direction. Criminal. Oh, no. Criminal. Yeah. You're thieving. That's a problem. But doesn't thieving give him a point back? It would give him a point back. You are, but it, you would actually get a point back for the thieving. He's already done thieving. I'm stealing He's taken it, like but three I still... jars of honey. Yes, you get a point still back roll, for the roll, thieving, but... but you still need to roll your criminal for the strength. I, I, yeah, I, I didn't roll very well. Oh, you have. They're too heavy to take as a as a lot. You're gonna have to take them one at a time. Um. Fine, I grab one and carry it down the stairs and out the front door while everybody's distracted. Okay. You And then I go back up for the next one. You I'm manage to get times. you can do this three times completely unmolested. Nobody's gonna bother you. They're all too busy trying to figure out why mm -hmm. dog's trying to blow the place up. Throw okay. out the window. I don't want them to break open. They're solid barrels. You're not I mean, stealing any of Doc's honey, are you? No. Oh. Heck no. All right. So, back to the people's downstairs. What y'all doing? Well, Ursus is I mean... still amongst the others. And, and Grizz, I would hope, would have said, you know, get the goods or something. Change well, yeah, plans. obviously. Like, you, you told me to get stuff, so I'm getting stuff. Like, right. So, Yogi, you see get... Grizz come down with barrels of honey. What are you doing? Um. Uh, well, let's see here. We don't want the place to blow up yet. You know, there's probably uh, some barrels downstairs from what the queen told you. Okay, there's more honey. We can get even more honey. Um. Hmm. Can I convince other people to get it for me so I don't have to do the work? <laughs> hmm. You are I'm... still wearing your disguise. I am still wearing my disguise, but if I go into that room, Doc's just going to make noises, you know. The Doc is doing a great job of distracting everybody. Are there any of the guards around here? Oh no, the mustache like, man called it quits. Y'all y'all broke them. They're all gone. They're okay, all gone. Ahead. You broke them. Um, I'm going to go to the back of the room um and grab one of the people back. I will try to stealth in and convince them that the honey is in danger from this bomb, obviously. And we need to start moving it off of the premises until Doc is disarmed. They look at so, you and they're like, forget the honey. The bees will make more honey. Well, let's prevent the innkeeper from trying, from needing to replace his inn. Let's try to save the inn. Who cares about the honey? It's just honey. I, I look at the man with utter, utter disgust and contempt on my face. Do you know how much one barrel of honey could buy? You could replace this entire inn three times over. I say making up numbers on the spot. Um, 
But this Agreed. this is the his innkeeper. inn that he built with this heart and soul. This is his life's work. He took you, you know can't a way buy of moving that. the inn? We can't move Roll the inn. Roll persuasion. <laughs> we can't move the inn. We can move the honey, though. What's your skill? What's your skill? My skill is slick. All right, roll your slick uh, for the. You're trying to be. Yeah, you're trying to get criminal. <laughs> that's hundred percent me being a criminal here. Uh, you I, convince exactly him. Slick, you convince I'm exactly him. Exactly as slick as I need to be. Um, no more, no less. Uh, so can... Frost will come and is like, "Okay, follow me. We'll get the honey out of here." Yeah, and right, right, right. sneaks out. Barrels are made of wood. The inn is made of wood. Therefore, sneaks the and he's thing. like, "Come this way." Okay. And in here, you find three more barrels of honey. It's like there. Okay. There's three more upstairs. Okay. Okay. I'll go tell someone to go take care of it. That's great. But what's what? Well, you can't take the first one out, and I'll take the second one and join you. We, we, we've got maybe we'll, frost we'll get rolls we'll frost men. rolls one out because frost can't possibly carry one he rolls it outside cool i will roll one as well you and, can uh, carry it you're strong enough okay. frost is just tiny uh, okay I will and he'll come back and carry the third one out okay. right about the time that you so while you you are getting you and Frost are getting the barrels out. Um, at this point, you can uh, Ursus, you can sense that the situation with Go Doc has gotten beyond volatile, like beyond volatile. There is no, like, or what are you doing to try to calm him down? Well, or distract first of all, or whatever. Can I sense whether the honey has been removed with my sense honey? A roll bear. Mm -mm. Where is my character? Yes, I am under. Yep. Then you can tell that the, the 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 smell of honey has totally changed. It just just doesn't smell the so much less pungent. It is obviously significantly less honey in this side of this establishment. And Doc, just to make sure I am clear, has been saying, if you think I'm gonna steal the queen, or what did he no, say? No, he's, he's, he's tired of, he, because of the beautiful sabotage that had been done earlier, they, mm. the uh, people have been accusing him of being the one to sabotage the tent. Nobody's figured mm. out that the queen isn't back yet. They're mm. <clears throat> they're all um they're all uh going after him for um sabotaging the for being having been accused of sabotaging the tent and of um and uh so him and and um what was the other which one was the other one you'd framed um him and uh, the bumblebee one Del him and hey, Del are Del. basically going at it having arguments over who sabotaged who and uh i forgot to put dell in here and who sabotaged who and how accusations have been flying and um but dell is cute enough that basically people have turned and decided that well she's innocent it's really doc and everybody's turned on doc and he's like tired of the accusations and the insinuation that he would have sabotaged the the con and sabotaged the tent and you know all that fun stuff so and then was the last thing he said Give I'll, me the queen, or uh, uh, I'll blow this place up. Yeah, basically, give me the uh, give me the queen, the prize, or I will blow this place to smithereens. Listen, I I'm late to this because I was watching all those men with the mustaches. They took off with the queen. She's gone. Well, yeah, those are her bodyguards. That makes sense. Yeah, they no, would be with her. No, like man, they. They were dragging her away. It was very upsetting. I had to run to the the outhouse because it, you know, all the commotion. I had to pee. No! He throws his bomb onto the ground, which explodes as he starts running for the door for who knows what. Turns out his, quote, bomb is essentially a glitter bomb full of pollen. At this point, the entire the room worst. turns 
bright yellow. It, it's essential. Basically, it's it's a it's a glitter ball. Like the entire and everything is coated You're in never yellow. That out of your the fur. air is absolutely yellow. You can't see anything. It's like a smoke screen glitter bomb. Terrible, like noxious gas all in one because it's whatever concoction he makes, which we've established smells like utter and complete disgustingness. And is tremendously sticky. And is tremendously sticky. And he runs out the door going, My queen! My queen! My queen! My queen! Completely ignores the fact that y'all are oops. Completely ignores the fact that y'all are stealing going toward that island out in the bay. Like, quick, ignores quick, the quick, fact quick, that y'all are stealing honey. honey and just runs like a lunatic out of we there. saving the honey. It's fine. Screaming at whoever will listen um, towards the towards the bay. What? Nice. Now what? So y'all have six... Y- you two outside have six barrels of honey that you're going to have to find a way to transport. And all of everybody in here is coughing up along trying to figure out what in the world just we need, happened. We should roll them down to the uh the uh boat and get them uh, far enough away until we can stash them someplace Wait. and retrieve them one at a time at our convenience. Is our home base the caves? Your home base is the caves. As as you roll them straight to the cave, I guess. As uh. basically honey or not honey Colin is sticking out of all of the windows. You do hear some neighing and some stomping from the uh, donkey <gasps> sitting outside with the cart um, as it sneezes Ooh. uncontrollably from the pollen as well. Ursus, we have to rescue the donkey Urs- from the pollen. Ursus says, I gotta go outside, I gotta pee. <laughs> <laughs> and Nobody hustle. stops you. <laughs> Hustling out <laughs> and says, Hey, what about that donkey? We should give it a treat. Where is the donkey? Uh, munching on some grass right here, sure. <laughs> Ursus wanders over and offers the donkey that sweet, amazing piece of honeycomb that they were given by the bee, the queen. He and, and gently lick- pets its nose. He licks it. Nudges you, gives you, gives you some, some, some donkey boops and kisses, and you become his ultimate best friend. The ultimate donkey friend. Hurry up, you two! He kind of looks at the others sideways. What do you guys do? Now Frost is scratching his head, wondering what in the world is going on. It's like, hey, what they... are you guys all doing with the honey? We're saving it, obviously, keeping us safe. Where are you taking it? He seems oddly suspicious all of a sudden. This seems quite suspect. Who is challenging us? Odin Frost. This this little dude over here. He's the one with the frozen honey. Yeah, he's the one. Odin Frost. I don't think we've done a proper introduction because he hasn't had a whole lot of... uh, We haven't encountered him yet. Characters. Odin Frost. Um... Can Odin you slick Frost him again? is known for sp- uh, his special breed of ice bees, and so he lives in the Arctic. And everything related to him is related to basically his bees uh, specialize in uh, cold weather plants and cold weather pollen. Keeping it safe for right now. Sheesh. He looks a lot like you guys are taken off with it. Who are, oh, I've yes. never seen you around it before anyway. What? This seems oddly suspect. As he Ursus. starts as he starts calling for <clears throat> as he starts calling Don't you dare. For, uh, ah. All right, roll bear. <laughs> as he starts calling for Juniper. I'm gonna scare the crap out of him. That's my goal. Roll there bear. it is. Oh yeah, he pees his pants and goes running back into and then starts coughing hysterically. <laughs> Once he runs into the pollen cloud. <laughs> well, this is the point where we summon the bees to get their revenge. If there's so much pollen there. Obviously, the bees are going to be attracted to this. So, 
Well, your donkey's coughing up along too, so if you want to save your donkey, you might want to consider it. Let's go ahead and get the donkey out of here. All right. And y'all are taking every... The donkey will go wherever you want it to go, because uh, Ursus gave it treats, so it's now Ursus' best it's friend. It's my bestie. Yep. Cool. I say we uh, load up and ride heck for leather over to the caves and hide our honey. I agree. All right. What do you think, Yogi? I think that we've got what we came for. We should get out of here. Yeah, and we have access to the bee forever. So y'all make it back to your cave with your loot and your honey and a new donkey yeah. pet and be the, the queen mm -hmm. bee as your best friend. And you have succeeded in your quest or heist. A after mm. we we unload the honey at the cave, Ursus will take the donkey and themselves back over to the wild uh, flower fields mm -hmm. and let the uh, bees sl slowly take all the pollen off of them so that uh, they can be cleaned up and more honey can be manufactured both of them are particularly grateful and uh, uh once the bees are done uh cleaning up the donkey the donkey comes back with a nice uh uh beautiful pot of uh honey tied around its neck with a note that says extra special just for ursus thank nice. your highness <laughs> 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 she got an extra special that was left over in the camp. It's from somebody named Doc. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gross. Well, we only stole six barrels, so I'm assuming it's two barrels each of the other good kind of honey. It is. Yeah. Because we would not want. You're pretty uh, sure that Doc's honey would disintegrate a wooden barrel? Oh. Ouch. All I kept thinking of when you were describing his <laughs> how how bad it was is like it's like when you want to buy like authentic lavender oil but you get like something that is ten percent lavender oil. I feel like vanilla honey is like vanilla is ten percent honey. Ugh. The the <laughs> fake vanilla smell is the worst. Yeah. Or whatever, but like, yeah, I just yep. feel like Docs is like ten percent product and ninety percent filler. Yep, yep. Yeah. Voila! So that was Honey Heist. Woo! Um. Yay. So for those watching who stuck around with this crazy, um, with <laughs> who stuck around the for chaos. the crazy, we were playing Honey Heist, which I prepped two weeks ago on Lorelink. Lorelink is the tool I used to prep all of this. It allowed me to get all of my characters and all of my um, locations and everything set so that I was able to follow and, you know, have the right stuff up while they were. It's the little screen right underneath me um, that has all of my notes and everything else um, so that I was able to get everything keeps everything straight for uh, the game especially since i'm a fairly new gm so it makes it a whole lot easier to keep track of what the players might do which i apparently for once prepped more or less what i needed which is a miracle um <laughs> especially knowing that i was fully expecting mark to have his revenge over the shenanigans i usually play when he is the one gming the game which um, usually he is, so next week we will be back to him running the stream instead of me and me going back to being peanut gallery and shenanigans galore. Um, and, uh, make sure to, oh, by the way, for the lore, like Kickstarter, we're getting there 65% last I looked funded. We're yeah. really close. So y'all need nice. to like, come join us back it get access to lore link and come help us over that finish line and get us um get us uh fully funded which would be awesome because it would allow us to do a lot more cool new stuff with lore link uh mark do you want to give your spiel 
Or did I already give you spiel? You, you, you've done a fairly excellent job. The Digital Link is a GM tool that helps GMs new and old with basically both pre-made and um, generated, basically self-generated adventures. Um, and it is there to help you organize and contain all of your thoughts. So... Come to the site, basically. I am, I am certain there will be links in chat right now that are basically telling you where you can go to find out more about Lorelink, about where you can go to back the Kickstarter, yep. and all that exciting, cool stuff. So follow yep. along. Um, if you haven't followed this stream, basically, to basically, and you're happy to be watching here, you can follow that to find out when the next time we go live. Because who knows, maybe we'll go live more often, or maybe not. And basically, <laughs> easy way of keeping track. There's a YouTube channel which helps you with keeping track of basically of all of the adventures we've run in the past. If you come in late and you want to see the rest of something, you can use those. Um, and of course we have the various social medias, which I don't know. I'm basically, it's probably not what actually happened, but I'm going to blame the fact that our poor social media manager has a migraine on the fact that there are 16,000 new uh, different social media apps and they're all various shades yeah, of bizarre and terrible. No, I, uh, I would frame the migraine on why I yeah, would blame the, yeah, the migraine. I think you had that exactly backwards. <laughs> yeah, 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 oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. It's the migraine's fault. Yes. 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 <laughs> it's, you know, our social media guy is great, but he has to deal with a whole bunch of stuff. So if you want to make his day better, follow us on all the social medias you can find them on. Um, yes. And that will make his day a little bit brighter uh, once you can actually, you know, look at bright things again. Um Outside of that, uh, I basically I will basically I guess thank you all for coming and showing up, and we'll be I'll be back in the driver's seat next week. And thanks to Martine for winning a wonderful game. Yeah, good job, Martine. Fun. Thank you. So I had fun. You running are it. perfectly fine as a GM. You <laughs> can do this. Basically, Lore Link helps, but you are also perfectly fine and able to do a GMing job. <laughs> so I mean, it's just we nice will, to have will a have great to tool. It is. Yeah. It makes life so much easier. Last time I did Honey Heist, I did it with pen and paper and um, whatever conglomerate of Google Docs and whatever else is, and doing it with Lorelink was significantly easier, I have to admit. But I'm, I'm also a little biased, because I, you know. <laughs> but, you know, details, details, details. <laughs> Then we will we'll catch you all later. Unless someone else has anything else to say. I Just think don't, twenty. Don't should, night, I think twenty should propose. Should uh, should uh, should, should uh, do the blah, blah. tell us about her stream too, because twenty oh, has a stream too. I'd be glad to. Uh, you can follow me over. Uh, my channel is twenty twenty site. I s generally I'm a PUBG and variety game streamer. Uh, but there's other stuff that happens. I'm usually live five days a week, although I'm taking tonight off. So I'll be let next live at 8 p.m. tomorrow, 8 p.m. Mountain Time, which is 10 Eastern, tomorrow evening. Cool. And with that, I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of their day, afternoon, evening, whatever the case might be for y'all. Have a good one, everybody.